Everyone uses Wikipedia, and there's a real reason why it always ends up at the top of your search page when you search for anything. It's because people trust it to give them the information that they're looking for. So if you're an artist, a band, or any kind of creative, then having a Wikipedia page filled with information about you and your music can provide a big boost in your credibility. It's an important bit of what's known as digital real estate, which is basically just another way to describe your online presence. But getting a Wikipedia page for music isn't easy, especially for new artists. They're exclusively reserved for musicians who can prove and convince a Wikipedia editor why their name deserves a dedicated page. There are a bunch of general guidelines and certain things that you can do when trying to get your own Wikipedia page or wiki page. But really it comes down to just two things, eligibility and notability. In other words, do you deserve a page and can you prove that you do? But yes, just like usual people, before we jump into the video officially, make sure you like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single video. And remember to get down in the comments, people. Drop a comment, drop a question and we'll get back to it as many as we can. So stay locked. Let's get into it. So similar to a Google knowledge panel, which we spoke about in a previous video, having a Wikipedia page as an artist or a musician or band can really strengthen your SEO online. And this will happen by landing a spot at the top of Google search results. Not to mention backing up your music and you as a musician with the authority of a force like Wikipedia. And if you already have a Google knowledge panel page, then that can really help you when trying to get a Wikipedia page. So if you haven't already done that, then like I said, we've got a video all about about how to get a Google Knowledge Panel page sorted, the process and how to go about it. And you guys can check it down below in the description at the end of this video. But how does the Wikipedia selection process work for page submissions? Well, Wikipedia's editorial team is made up of actually volunteers from all over the world. A range of them who receive thousands of new page entries daily. They're responsible for choosing which page gets accepted and which don't. Which also means it's these guys who are ultimately standing in between you and the wiki page that you could get for your music. Now, like I mentioned in the beginning, there's actually plenty of guidelines that help the editorial team, help them to actually make their decisions on who does and doesn't get a page. But the main one is to decide whether you are a newsworthy artist. And there's a way to prove it, but we'll get into that next. Okay, so now we've cleared up how the editorial process works. I'm going to give you five tips that you can do to make your artist Wikipedia page as strong as it can be from the point of view from the Wikipedia editor and with that hopefully you'll get your page accepted so like I said tip one is to be noteworthy so being or at least proving that you are what Wikipedia deems as a news or noteworthy artist is unofficially the most important part of legitimizing your application. Editors receive a pool of artist page applications daily, which means artists of proven notable status are the only artists that Wikipedia are interested in. But more than just claiming your fame, you'll need to prove at least one form of actual evidence for the claim. This could be anything that your critics have said about you or anything that's put you in the public eye, such as the mentions that you may get in media. Now I know that the term being noteworthy is pretty subjective. So here's a list of what Wikipedia accepts as noteworthy evidence. Multiple articles covering your music or tour, albums or singles in the official chart, prominence within a certain genre or subculture of music, award wins or nominations, Having your music featured in another form of media, whether it be TV, shows, movies, or games. Involvement in any political activism or controversy. Previous work with or links to other famous people. Performances at major festivals or well-known venues. So if you're relatively new to releasing and making music and you don't have any noteworthy online news stories or PR features written about you yet, then it may be worth holding off for a little while until you get some kind of exposure before submitting an application. Another tip is to be natural. Now, if you know me, then you know that I'm a big believer in being your own biggest fan. Whilst it's always good to back yourself, a Wikipedia page is not the place to go heavy on the self-promotion. This is because Wikipedia only accepts content on the basis that it's true to form, which basically means that it's a page that's written from a unbiased and neutral point of view. So if you use a submission as a sort of vehicle to promote your brand or your music, you'll really risk your page getting rejected or even deleted. So try to avoid making any big 
grand statements about yourself, about how great your music is or how influential you are. While you might think it's true and it could be true, still all of these statements are subjective. And Wikipedia doesn't want to know your opinions, it just wants to know facts. A good way to approach this really is to put yourself in the shoes of the end reader. When you read it from an outsider perspective, you'll then be able to tell if it sounds too promotional or too hyper-personal. Tip three, only use verified sources. Including sources and references is the best way to kind of verify all the information that you are claiming is true about you as an artist, your band, or you as a musician. And that will help confirm that it's actually true. But ultimately, it won't matter how many sources or references you use if they aren't coming from trustworthy or verified third-party sources. Verified credible sources usually include things like articles or journal reviews online media mentions about your brand or your music, press coverage in a well-known magazine or a news website. There might be other kind of sources that you want to use and are probably perfectly acceptable. Just make sure any sources you're mentioning or included are unbiased, which would probably mean that they've come from a reputable, reliable and independent body. So things like personal blogs or reviews from friends and family on social media are unverified sources that you should really stay away from. Tip four, don't write it yourself. You've probably heard the phrase, if you want something done, then do it yourself. And no one doubts that as an independent musician, you probably live by that. But that's definitely not the case when it comes to getting a Wikipedia article published. You'll actually improve your chances by actually getting someone else to write it for you. Like I said, Wikipedia only publish articles that are written in a unbiased way. And that can be difficult to do when you're writing about your own music, whether you're an artist or a band member, because you're so closely positioned to it. Recruiting an outsider to write it for you simply prevents any possibility of making it a biased article. It'll stop any small personal remarks seeping through the writing, which will make it a lot more neutral for when the Wikipedia editor goes through it. And this doesn't necessarily mean that you have to get a stranger involved. In this case, you could ask a friend or a family member to have a go at doing it for you, or even just contributing on your behalf. But here's the thing, if you really want to impress a Wikipedia editor, then try find someone, track down somebody who regularly contributes to the Wikipedia articles and submissions. Try get them to write the entry for you. Not only will they be familiar in how to write in such a way that Wikipedia likes, but Wikipedia also sees and tracks who contributes to their pages. So getting someone involved who already has experience could be the difference between you getting accepted or rejected. And tip five, don't hold back on the details. When writing your Wikipedia entry, don't leave anything to the imagination. The more eligible evidence you can provide of your noteworthiness, took by reliable sources and evidence, then the better. And just as listing as many noteworthy qualifications as possible will really help boost your chances of getting listed. So we'll maximize in the amount of depth and detail that you provide. You wanna make sure whoever's writing your page has all the important information readily available and that they have it all on hand about you and your music. So things such as any award wins or nominations, previous discographies, current band members, past and future performances and locations, any lineup changes. Just make sure that the information that you're providing is also relevant. Just imagine you're reading this page about yourself years down the line. Think about the things that would be important still to someone reading it for the first time. Definitely things like your musical style, your influences, your band members. Whereas a description about your outfit that you wore on stage at a random gig when you was 12 is just not need to know information. So keep that on the forefront of your mind throughout. So that brings us to the end of the video and let me quickly recap. So if you really want to go above and beyond to boost your chances of getting your own Wikipedia page, here's five things that you need to do. Be eligible and noteworthy. Be neutral. Only use verified sources. Don't write it yourself and don't hold back on the details. Like I said, getting a Wikipedia page is very hard. Editors receive so many artist submissions from new and emerging artists every single day. And unfortunately, there's no actual promise that doing exactly what I've said in the five steps will allow you to secure your own page. Because every editor is different and every artist is different. But without following those steps, you will stand a lot lower chance of getting it sorted. But the best thing you can do right now is keep making great music and keep making a name for yourself. Get noticed, get people talking about you. Go out and get that eligibility and that notability that Wikipedia editors love so much. And if you're still here, thank you for making it to the end of the video. 
video. And remember, you can check out the full blog post over on the Ditto Music blog. We'll leave a link for that and everything else I've spoken about in this video down below in the description below the like button. So from me, Vito and the Ditto Music team, I wanna say thank you. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single video. Get down in the comments, drop a comment or a question, and let us know how you're feeling. We'll get back to as many as we can. Get involved, people. Subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Love.